Hi everyone, I'm Christina from Movie Amazings and today I'll be reviewing Friends with Kids. It was directed by Jennifer Westfeldt. It stars Jennifer Westfeldt, Adam Scott, Maya Rudolph, Chris O'Dowd, Edward Burns, Megan Fox, Kristen Wiig, and John Hamm. It's, it's, it's a synopsis is, two best friends decide to have a child together while keeping their relationship platonic so they can avoid the toll kids take on rom romantic relationships. So, as they portray themselves, these two best friends, in this close-knit circle of friends, they, they were the best of the best. Like, they knew each other for almost 20 years, and they knew every possible opinion, every theory and stuff that the other one had. That's, you know, that's pretty deep stuff. So, um, after watching their other friends have kids and just watch the romance completely die a violent death, they were, they wanted to do something different. They wanted to have a kid, get it out of the way. Since they knew each other, they knew they would be, they would be there for each other as good parents, but then they would be free to pursue the love of their lives without the pressure of having a kid and making the relationship work, you know, putting the romance back in there. And it was a very progressive and noble idea, as was, as was said in the film, um, both admiringly and mockingly. So it depends on your opinion, what, where you stand on an issue like that. I, um, I thought that was a very progressive idea, you know, because these two people knew each other so well, not because they were just some, a couple of casual friends who said, yeah, let's just do that. And um, maybe I'm, I've, been a, I've become cynical in the sense that when I see a romantic movie, I expect a happy ending, at least from American films. Um, and not to give the ending away, absolutely not. But I was very happy with the ending. Um, yeah. And um, because it, it, it worked with the story, you know, and it wasn't... It, the way they arrived at the ending... It took some time. It wasn't just like, you're going to know this and we're going to deliver it immediately. It, you know, it, it built up to it. And it made sense. So it was good. Okay, so there was a lot of vulgarity in the movie, but it worked, you know, and that's not a bad thing. But the trailer, the one um, particularly on YouTube, you have to you have to be 18 and over to, to see it because it says this preview is rated for mature audiences only. And, you know, it, it does deal with mature themes, but I just thought that was kind of a funny tidbit. Another thing that I thought was kind of funny, and I don't know if this is intentional, but it most likely was, John Hamm and Kristen Wiig, they play a couple in the movie, and this is the second film that I've seen them as a couple that just didn't work. In the first one was Bridesmaids. They weren't really a couple in that one, they were just messing around, but she thought or wanted more than they actually were. So maybe this is just a joke they have against the world. <laughs> well done, guys. So, wow. Um, kids do change everything. I don't have kids, but I, I know people who do, and it's just that's just an obvious fact. Kids change things. For the worse or for the better, it's up to the couple and, and the situations. But, you know, like, it's inevitable. You have to... You're suddenly responsible for this well-being and the happiness of this other person. And... A good parent will want to do a good job, right? Obviously, you're never gonna you're never gonna stop trying and everything. So these two friends, they they did the best they could, and they you know they did a damn good job raising that kid. But in terms of their romantic lives, it was kind of skewed because at one point it's like, how do you introduce the kid to to um, to in his case his ever fluctuating circle of girlfriends, and her it's like she. She was a lot more stable in that department, but it was still scary, you know, to explain the situation and see where it went, you know, and it had its ups and downs as well. I give this movie an A+, plus, definitely, like, it was, it was a really good movie. I would recommend it, in fact, I kind of want to see it again. Um, they didn't sugarcoat the romance because it, I felt like it was kind of like real life, you know, like... You're not going to have the sweetest moments and it's just going to be, I love you, my love, my eternal love. That's that's nice to hear and all, but who speaks like that nowadays? It was like they had 
they just said it in their own way and it involved cursing and it just it made it even funnier um to prove how i love you let me do this for you i can't really say it right now i might get youtube says this clip has been reserved only for mature audiences <laughs> but i recommend you go check out this movie um if not to plan your way of having kids this way then just for a good laugh because it delivered on that as well so and also thanks for checking us out bye